Hey there, welcome back. We are going to be looking at the human communication process, specifically the five components of Dean Barlund's communication process. So the basic components of human communication. We are working out of Johnson and Hackman's book on leadership, a communication perspective. I will put a link to that book in the description below this one. And if we haven't met yet, I am Alex Lyon. So let's get into it. So Dean Barnlund articulated five key principles that reflect the basic components of human communication. And the first one is that communication is not a thing. It's a process. In other words, when we're communicating, we have a dynamic back and forth exchange. It's not a fixed situation. Communication is not something that happens once and for all. It's not constant. It's a process, an ongoing process that unfolds over time. Number two, communication is not linear. It is circular. So I know one of the old models of communication says that communication is very linear. You have a sender, a message, and a receiver, and it's like a one-way process. But Barnlund and a lot of other people ended up saying, you know, we are both simultaneously senders and receivers. You're always sending and receiving messages, even if it's just nonverbal feedback. There's a circular process that's constantly going when we are interacting with other people. Number three, communication is complex. In other words, it involves the negotiation of shared interpretations and shared understandings. In fact, they say that anytime we are interacting with another person, there are six people really involved. Now, that's not an actual six people, but think about it this way. Let's say you and another person are talking. It's a one-on-one -on -one conversation. It's very complex. Even if you're just saying hello and the other person says hello back, here's what you have going on. First, you have who you think you are in that moment. Second, you have who you think the other person is in that exchange. And then you have in your head who you think the other person thinks you are, right? You might be thinking, oh, I wonder what they think of me right now. And the same is true, multiply that by two. So the other person has those same three things going on in that same exact moment. Who the other person thinks they are, who they think you are, and who the other person thinks that you think they are. So that's why when you first meet somebody, there's a lot going on, even though it's a very basic exchange. There's not a ton of information going back and forth, but there's a lot of complicated processes going on in our brain. So I think that uh, these, this principle that communication is complex makes a lot of sense to me. And number four, communication is irreversible. You can't take back something you said, not really. Sometimes you will hear in movies at least, uh, you know, they will say, the judge will say, uh, disregard that last statement. You know, if the lawyer asks something they're not supposed to ask, disregard that, delete that from the record. It's like, come on, can you really do that? I mean, once the thing has been said, people have heard it. You can't just erase your memory. If you've ever had somebody say something unnecessarily cruel or hurtful to you, then you know this true. They can, this is true. They might even say, oh, I'm really sorry. I said that. And it's like, okay, I might be able to get over it and forgive them, but you can't really reverse it, right? It's not like paying a debt off and then the debt is clear. Once they've said it, it's out there, right? It's in your brain. It's in the relationship history. And number five, communication involves the total personality. So a message cannot be viewed separately from the person. It matters who said it in the first place. Communication is more than the set of behaviors that we're giving off. It shapes how we view ourselves and how we view others. So you can't really separate the communication from the person completely. So those are Dean Barnlund's five basic components of communication. Question of the day, which of these do you find most interesting or applicable to your life? I would love to hear your comments on that in the, the description below this video. And I look forward to reading those comments. So thanks, and I will see you soon.